G'day guys, Mac with the Outer Circle. Today I want to look at the Start Collecting Box Sets and go through which ones I think are good value uh, and what I think are a bit eh. So, the whole reason I'm doing this is because looking into 8th edition 40k recently to do my What Break the Fans and really looking to the army lists and of course playing Age of Sigma. Well, I've kind of learnt which ones you really want and which ones you don't want. And when I say want, I mean you want to buy it more than once. And why is that? Well, it's a great way of buying the same miniatures for a lot cheaper. And if the miniatures in these boxes are the ones you really need to build the core of your army around, well, that's great because it means you buy lots, maybe two or even three in some cases of these star collecting boxes, you'll have a really great army because of it. But if the star collecting box you buy is really only good for adding a couple of units and you don't want them all, or if some of those units aren't even really viable in your army, well, then why are you getting that box? Uh, is that good value to you? Well, it's cheaper, sure, but if you're not getting much out of it, well, it's not really very helpful, is it? Uh, so, we're going to start with Age of Sigma. Uh, the Star Collecting Slaves to Darkness, the Chaos set, that's a good one. Yeah, okay, you won't need many multiples of that character in the box. However, the Chaos Knights, you can use multiple of them, and you can use multiples of the Warriors, definitely. So, overall, decent. Not great, decent. Start collecting Demons of Slanesh. Very, very good one. Uh, the Chariot, you'll use a few of, whether you're putting characters on them, or whether you're running them as the different types of Chariots, that's one thing. But the demonettes and the demonettes on steeds, you're going to want a lot of them. Um, the steeds especially because they're very fast and create a great screening force potentially. And the demonettes are just the cornerstone of the army. So, much better. Star Collecting Malignants is a bad one. Because you get a, a Mortis Engine or whatever variant of... And you get your Hex Raids and you get your Spirit Hosts. But unless you're collecting a wider undead themed army, this is a poor choice for you because you're not getting the units you want if you're collecting, say, well, Night Haunt. If I want Night Haunt, I can't use the Coven Throne or Mortis Engine, whichever variant is on display. I can only use the Hex Raids, and even then, they're not great. And of course, the Spirit Hosts. So, not a very good start collecting, because only parts of it I want to use in the army, and the parts I want to use doesn't really justify the overall cost of the box compared to the big unit in it. And vice versa, if you're, I mean, if you're collecting overall death, maybe you build up your hex raids as black knights, they might be of more use to you, but a lot of people who are playing death at the moment, they're playing either skeleton hordes or um, a legions of Nagash type thing, or they're playing uh, very specific Flesh Eater Courts, so it's no good to them, that box. Same rule applies really to the Beast Core Raiders. You might want one of the box and use all the guys in one box, yes, but that's the end of that. The Star Collecting Skeleton Horde are uh, fantastic until you remember that you really only want one Archon the Black. Now, I think it comes with uh, his box, allows you to build Manfred, Archon, or... Neferata, but do you want all three of the Mortarks? I, I dare say you wouldn't. So it's a bit middling on that ground. A great one-off box. Definitely you want it once. You want to buy it once. Multiple times? I don't think so. Star Collecting Flesh Eater Quartz, on the other hand, phenomenal because all of those things you want many of. Yes, you want many Cryptoras. Yes, you want many Ghouls. Yes, you can actually make an entire army of terror geists in Flesh Eater Courts. So, good choice. Great choice, in fact, because you can buy two, three, four of that box and you're still getting your money's worth out of it. Because you could use four of that box and you go, eh, 12 of the uh, Cryptoras? Yeah, that's fine. 12 sets of 10 ghouls? Yeah. Oh, sorry, four sets of 10 ghouls? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Four terror guys. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably use those. People do. Alright, the Skaven Pestilence. Not terrible, um, but how many war machines do you want? 
Uh, granted, you might use a couple of plague core catapults, that kind of thing. But I think overall, it's one of those ones you're probably going to buy one of at a stretch too. Carried on overlords. Uh, actually, it's not too terrible a box. You'll probably get two of it just to get the same models cheaper, and that would be the end of it. You're not really getting any useful characters that you really want multiples of out of it, that kind of thing, so, eh. Uh, same thing goes for the Stormcast Vanguard. Really not the pick of what people are taking in Stormcasts at the moment, and the characters are a bit uninspiring, so probably avoidable. Uh, start collecting Seraphon, actually pretty good, actually pretty good. Um, not great, I'd say two of those, and you've probably got your worth out of the box. The Fire Slayers, well, one of the box, again, one of, great. Um, and again, if, if it's something you want to get one of, that's fantastic. I think it's boxes like the Star Collecting Malignants, where even one is sort of stretching, do you really want it, are the questionable ones. The Fire Slayers, their Magma Droth or whatever it is, their Fire Dragons, those things are fucking terrifying. So, yeah, multiples of that, perfectly fine. Um... The Volkite Berserkers, uh, you can, you'd probably just buy them on their own in heaps because they're pretty good. If not, a little bit OP. Start collecting for Sylvaneth, same thing as the previous one, the Fire Slayers. Yeah, uh, you want heaps of Dryads, heaps of them. Um, they're pretty good, they're pretty good considering. Uh, once you've got 10 of them, they're going up in saves, they're going up in how easily they hit you. It's great. Trimen are great, they're just tanky as fuck, uh, especially if it's Spirit of Durthu, so good options. The Star Collecting Corn Bloodbound Goreblade Warband. It's not terrible. Um, you don't need two of it though. One of it, um, unless you want extra Korgoroths, I believe that's what the, uh, the weird... Uh, giant mutated dude in it is, unless you want multiples of him, eh, you, you really just need to load up on a couple of champions and combine it with your Star Collecting Demons of Corn, which is directly below it on the left hand side there. Uh, those two boxes combined together, you'll be starting to get some real worth out of the army. The Star Collecting Stormcast Eternal's Thunderstrike Brotherhood is one of the better ones, uh, but again, like many of the Stormcast things, you buy one box of it, that's probably all you're going to want. Star Collecting Demons of Nurgle, on the other hand, I could buy three of that and find that good value. Because Nurglings are great. Uh, the Fly Riders, Plague Drones, I think they're called, are fantastic. The Heralds are good. I may not use three of them, but I mean, they're only a single model, <laughs> a single small Plague Bearer sized model. So, yeah, good value as far as I'm concerned. And of course, the Plague Bearers are ridiculously good and ridiculously tough, and you can summon in more of anything in this box for your Plague Points. So, yeah, that's a really good box. Demons of Corn, same thing, you'll buy multiples of it, but the Corn uh, Chariot slash Cannon slash whatever is not really great. So, um, if you like it for the looks, that kind of thing, go for it, but I think you'll find it very underwhelming otherwise, but. Uh, plus, there are better things than the Juggernauts out there. Um, yeah, it's not terrible. The Blood Letters are quite good in it. Uh, the Adont Deepkin, yes, that is one where you will want multiples. Because the Eels are quite good and you will need the standard Namadi Reavers, or whatever they're called, in numbers. Uh, Star Collecting Anvil Guard, I don't know how many chariots you'd want. Um, but a couple of Hydras is definitely terrifying. And Corsairs are alright. It's definitely a one-of, would-be-good-value box, but multiple, question. Start collecting Greywater Fastness, uh, a bit of a bizarre choice, I think, really just for the Gyrocopter slash Gyrobomber slash whatever it's currently called. It's probably something better they could put in the box. One-of, sure. Multiple-of, and no. Start collecting Mega Kin of Nurgle. Yes. <laughs> In short, yes. You want multiples of this. Um, two will be fine. Three would be great. Um, 
because you want the extra flies to make your Lord of Afflictions, uh, not just your actual Blight Kings riding flies. Uh, and as for the Blight Kings themselves, yeah, 10 is perfectly normal in most armies. Uh, 15 would be fine as well. So great. Uh, again, like with the Nurgle Demons, the Lord of Blights, the single character you get in the box, maybe... I mean, you don't need multiple of him, he's not that great. But it wouldn't hurt to have him convert him up to something else, maybe, or just use the model as extra Blight Kings. Up to you. Start collecting Iron Jaws. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, I don't know how many of the Shaman with the two bones held up in the air you really want. Uh, you're pretty much getting your worth out of one. Two, maybe for redundancy, but the rest of the box is really good. Multiples of the Black Orcs and multiples of the uh, Boar Riders or Iron Jaw Riders, whatever they're called. Uh, yeah, those guys are really good. So, yeah, that's a good start collecting. As for the uh, ones with the actual battle tomes, eh, up to you. I like to buy books just to have them hold them with the artwork, that kind of thing, but unlike the old codexes, I really don't feel like I get my money's worth out of them. The cost just isn't there. Um, the actual quality of the artwork is its good. Um, it is new artwork. I don't hate the, the style they use either. I think it's been quite skillfully done. But for some reason, it just feels like I'm getting less bang for my buck in these modern books. And I can't narrow it down to why. But yeah. So those are my picks for the start collecting. I'd say the Nurgle ones are good. Iron Jaws, good. Uh, Slanesh ones, good. Sylvaneth, good. Fire Slayers, good. And in fact, I'd say the Nurgle ones are pretty much great. Uh, Flesh Eater Quartz is great. Skeleton Hordes, good. Start collecting Demon Slanesh is pretty good as well. So they're mostly good all around. A few of them you'd want multiples of them. Alright. 40k. Oh boy. Start collecting Chaos Space Marines. Yeah, you'd probably get your money's worth out of two of them. The Start collecting Vanguard Space Marines, though, I think you're really pushing it. So, out of the two, my edge goes to Chaos. For the demons, same thing, It's you're probably going to get your money's worth because you need lots of demonets. You want lots of demonets riding steeds of Slanesh. Yeah, it's probably worth it to you. Star Quoting Drukari, yeah, pretty good, pretty good one. So that's worth it as well. You'd probably buy two of them and be happy. Star Quoting Thousand Suns, Starting to get a bit more questionable because you don't need multiples of Araman and you can't really do much with the model outside of that. Uh, yes, the standard thousand submarines and the uh, Zangors you'll use a fair few of, but overall the army itself is not in a great place in 40k at the moment. I don't see you really wanting more than one of this and filling out the rest of your choices with something else. Start collecting Primara Space Wolves, and uh, it's not terrible. In fact, you'd probably be better off using that as a start collecting for other uh, chapters, I should dare say, um, with the aggressors and with the actual Primara Standard Infantry. It's probably a better start collecting than some of the other Primara start collecting up, even though it will come with a lot of Space Wolves specific parts. Uh, start collecting Tyranids. Nowhere near the stuff you need in quantity. Yeah, it's a one, yes. Two, mm, you don't need that many brood wards or trigons or Morlocks or whichever version they are in the box. Start collecting Death Watch. Pretty solid, actually. You won't need multiple Artemis miniatures, but the rest of the box, yeah. Definitely could see taking multiples of that. Dreadnoughts, I think, are a bit underrated in the game, uh, probably because people who are taking them aren't using them well, um, and it's only when you actually bump into someone who really knows how to use one wisely that it becomes a problem. The Star Collecting Skatari is probably my pick out of both Age of Sigma and 40k, is everything in that box you want, you want multiples of. Um, the Skatari themselves, the Onaga Dune Crawlers are ridiculously good, yeah, definitely 
definitely a good one. I could see you buying three of this and not being disappointed. Um, having a really good mechanic of army because of it. This, uh... Start collecting Tower Empire Force. It's okay. It's not groundbreaking. It's a one and done type box. I'd buy one of these and be happy to build the rest of the army around it. But again, not my not getting my values worth because I'm only getting one of this box to build my army with. Start collecting craft worlds. Uh, yeah, if you want to have a rate spam army, it's going to be great. But if you're collecting anything else, then it's abysmal. Uh, start collecting Astra Militarum. Yeah, pretty good box. Pretty good box. That's like the uh, Skitari. You could buy two or three of that and be happy. Start collecting Demons of Nurgle. As per fantasy, if you're going to take them, you're going to take a lot of them. So therefore, buying a couple of boxes of it ain't a bad choice. Start collecting Orcs. A bit mediocre. Uh, one, yes. Two, that's stretching it. Start collecting Necrons. That's a really good one. Um, you're getting more characters than you probably need, but you'll use the Scarabs, you'll use the Warriors, you'll use the Immortals. Uh, plus, you can build the barges, a few different things at the back there, so I think that's a, at least two you're going to buy of it. Start collecting Demons of Corn, same thing as Fantasy, you're going to want at least one of it, two at a stretch. Demons of Zench, same thing again. At least one, two at a stretch. In fact, the Demons of Zench one, you probably would buy two of. Militarum Tempestus, same thing again. You're probably going to buy two of it, which is decent. Start collecting Blood Angels, it's okay. Um, there is a lack of transports and such in it, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, you get a bit of an eclectic mix in it, but it's not terrible overall. The Start Collecting Space Wolves is... It's more unique to the Space Wolves, having the Thunderwolf Cavalry, and I think it will get your use out of it. But I really only see you wanting one of the box. And the Star Coating Space Marines, apart from the Terminator Captain, you won't really need multiples of. I think two or three of that box is good value and a good investment to you. So that's my picks out of the Star Collecting. Alright, so a quick one to add in at the end here is the Realm of Chaos, Wrath and Rapture. This box set... Uh, if you're collecting demons, it's not a bad choice uh, because you get so many demons in it. I can't say the same thing for something like the Eldar one. Uh, I don't think that's good value for money. Uh, the demonettes are great. The Steezer Slanesh are fine. The fiends in Age of Sigmar especially are fucking woeful. Um, but all the corn stuff you would definitely use. So. Either of those is good, and perhaps if you're building a Ruin Storms army for demons in 30k, you'll probably get some real value out of the box. Uh, another one to point out is that if we go into our, again, box games being its own separate special snowflake thing, and we go to Warhammer Underworlds, all the different warbands in Warhammer Underworlds can be used in Age of Sigma. They've got their own little special snowflake lists, such as the um, Lothari's Guardians, for example, for Sylvaneth. Not a terrible little uh, set. Thunderix Profiteers, same thing. Like A lot of these sets can be used uh, inside those Age of Sigmar armies, so if you're playing the two different games, you'll get a bit of crossover between them. Meh, might be worth it to some people. Uh, for example, the Beastgrave, the Grimwatch, the guys out of that box really buff the Flesh Eater Courts a lot, uh, ridiculously so, so that's a great one there. Anyway, Mac with the Outer Circle, hope you found this helpful in some way. Uh, if you are getting into a different army this year, maybe you've been able to watch this video and go, oh, well, if I'm getting into this army, I will get value out of buying this box a few times. Obviously for some, uh, it's more relevant than others, like I said, Flesh Eater Courts, you could buy four of that box and you'd be happy. Same with the Skatari box, another great one where three or four of it, and you're going to be like, yeah, yeah, this is great, this is exactly what I want. And you can supplement it with just the occasional box of something different. And that's not even trying to be gamey with them, it's just what's practical. I mean, Flesh Eater Courts doesn't exactly have the largest range of miniatures available to you, whereas something like um, 
Magikin of Nurgle does. But of course, in that regard, you may have demons and uh, mortal humans available to you, but you could still buy two sets of the Star Collecting Demons of Nurgle and two sets of the Star Collecting um, Maggot King. And you're gonna get value out of it either way. So, $600 there, you're probably gonna have over 2,000 points army. That's, that's pretty good. Um, not great, nothing's as cheap as it probably should be, but we're not here to talk about price today, we're talking about what's good value to you if you're gonna get these armies. And you know, you go to a third party, maybe, instead of Games Workshop, or go on eBay, or go on any buy swap sell page uh, two weeks before a new army comes out and everyone's trying to offload the old army they bought on a whim. Yeah, buy it nice and cheap then. Anyway, I'm Mike with the R Circle, thank you all for watching, and see you all next time.